So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hunters. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Iron Pledge set. If you guys don't know if this is your first video, we usually review the video and the review the shaders as well, which both of them are right here. You guys can definitely check them out. We essentially go over how it looks, how it shades, my personal thoughts, and that's pretty much it. For the shader video, we go through all of the shaders that I currently own. I will be changing it in the future. I don't think... I think this one... I actually do have it changed. I have a lot of the armor videos shuffled, so some of them will have just my favorite shaders because I have so many shaders in the game that it legitimately takes me like six whole minutes and sometimes I fall asleep because six minutes plus the other classes, which be like six or 18, so 18 minutes in total, I have fallen asleep before, so that's why I'm just going to do my favorites from now on. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about the sets that I made. Let me know what sets you guys have been making with this because I do think this is really, really cool. And be sure to pick up these armor because not saying this is the last Iron Banner. I think we have one more. And then hopefully Bungie just keeps giving us more Iron Banners since, you know, we have like 20 more years of this season. So hopefully they give us more because I do think this armor is super dope. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet, and I love the helmet. The helmet is one of my favorite pieces from this whole set, aside from the cloak, because the cloak is also really, really cool. But for this one, Iron Pledge Ornament is for the helmet. As for the arms, we're going to be using the uh, Young Ahamkara Spine with the Seor, Se Seor? I don't know how to say that fucking word, but it's with the like Viking ornament, which looks really cool. For the chest piece, the only yielding favor vest. This one is from Season of the un not Undying, Season of the fucking something. It's from this. It's <sighs> as for the chest piece, Unyielding Favor Vest is what we're using for the boots and the cloak. We're going to be using the White Wolf Strides and Cloak. I like this. So I like these a lot. <laughs> And for the boot and the cloak, we're going to be using the white wolf strides and cloak. I really like these a lot. And honestly, I was just kind of like vibing with this one. It was like, whatever. I just want to like see what I can do with it because I'm going to be honest with you. The next set that uses the helmet a lot better. But I do think this one is really, really cool because it does make some things that I do like. The only thing I would switch out would be the chest piece because I feel like the chest piece is a little too regal for a Viking look. The boots, I think, is fine. I think everything really is fine except just the chest piece. I think the chest piece is a little too regal for what I'm going for. As for the sh <laughs> funny, I say regal because the re shader is regal daring. I do think that's a little too, again, regal for the Viking set that I'm going for. So I would probably just switch out the shader and the chest piece for something a little bit more Viking-esque. As for the chest piece, speaking of Viking, we're going to be using the Valhund ornament for the six coyote. And I actually like what I did with this one for the iron pledge pieces we're going to be using the helmet and the arms for the boots iron foreigner strides and then for the chest piece mantle of Ephrodite. so this is using all iron banner pieces um because mantle of Ephrodite obviously is iron banner same thing with the iron foreigner and then iron pledge ornaments for both so i think this one's really cool this one is definitely going to be used for me because i hate using the same set when i'm doing iron banner i like to mix and match but with sometimes it's just kind of annoying i just like kind of ignore it so for this one i think i do think it's going to be really cool for the shadering in silvered snares like one of my favorite shaders not only because it's a really cool color but it's also one of the only shaders we got that you don't you can only get from solo flawless in a dungeon which is grass of avarice which is why it's my favorite because it has a little bit more not re it's not regal but it's it's like it has like a uniqueness to it because i know a lot of people are not going to do a solo flawless just for a shader but i would because i do it all the time anyways so let me know what you guys think this one is definitely my favorite so far but that can easily change with the other one speaking of which for this one we're going to be using the iron foreigner mask the iron simic grips and then the iron pledge ornament for the chest piece for the boots we're going to be using bombardiers and then for the cloak we're going to be using the iron pledge ornament again so I actually think this one's pretty cool. I would only switch out the helmet. I think the helmet would be the only thing that I would switch out. And for the helmet, I would actually switch it out for the year one ornament, the, the Iron Truage helmet, just because that one has the like the teeth on it that looks very like a Japanese like mask, like an Oni mask, 
which is why I would switch out the Iron Foreigner mask. I like the Iron Foreigner mask on it. I just feel like you really need that Oni mask just because I feel like it's going to make it a lot cooler. That being said, I know some people might be like, oh, well, it's a little too close to the Iron, the Iron Pledge stuff, which is fair, but it's enough of a difference that I wouldn't mind. Not only that, I would have to change the shade around to make sure the gold doesn't look out of place. But I definitely like where my head is going with this one because it just means that I'm going to fine tune this one. Not only that, I really like how the Iron Simic grips and the Iron Pledge chest piece go well together considering it has a lot of that wood armor. So this one is really cool. I definitely love where my head is going with this one and I can't wait to like mix and match with this more. And for the last one, we're going to be using the Tiamat ornament for the Dragon's Shadow. And this one is a little weird because like I honestly don't know where the hell my head was going with this one. I let's just talk about it. So Shadow Mask for the helmet, White Wolf Grips for the arms, Iron Pledge ornament for the boot, and then the Canis Luna Cloak for the cloak. So this is shader is going to be precursor chrome for everything but the cloak because again, Canis Luna Cloak, I've said this a few times. Um, I love this cloak a lot. It's just the fact that the cloak and the actual like hood uh, take sh shaders differently and Abyssinian gold com kind of combines all of it into one. So that's why I like using that one. So for this one, I would honestly switch out the arms. Um, I, you know what I think it was is I think I used the arms because they were symmetrical and the boots are symmetrical. I think that was where my head is going. Not saying this looks bad by any means. I actually th th do think it's pretty cool, but I I have done an Iron Lord set with the Tiamat ornament and I use a lot of the same pieces that I did for the second look that we did in this video because um, I ended up using the Iron Foreigner strides and then a few things here and there that are different. So I would honestly just say if you want it, you can just switch out the chest piece from the second set, the Iron Lord set, and then switch it with this chest piece because that's literally what I did. Just switch out the shader for pre precursor vex chrome so that way you can match that gold trim that the chess piece has because that can't change or can it change color? I don't even remember. Either way, I don't like I don't hate where my head was going with this one. It's just I mm, you know I don't I don't know I don't know it's weird. Uh, this is definitely the L of the group. Not saying all the other ones are like amazing uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I really like making these because it really helps me like flex my creative muscle because sometimes you you just get in a rut and you get into like the same like sets over and over and that's why i like try to push myself to make new sets because i don't want to just rehash some of the like the same old same old i will do that for the titans in a certain video i don't remember if it's the next one or the one after that but that's more of a case of just like that's one of my favorite sets that i made so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later